Do you want homebrew on your weed? Because here's a quick guide to get you up and going for the easy fall tutorial. Here's how. What is up guys? Sherm Killer here, long time no see. I've been a little bit busy lately. I uh, started working on a new project and it's not, obviously it's not a new thing, but uh, soft modding the Nintendo Wii. And I started with uh, an old, or a Wii that we've had laying around for quite a while and it is has a system menu version of 4.3U and that's what I'm going to show you guys is how to use the letter bomb without any game. And it's fairly simple, actually. You go to pl the or the easiest way, I should say, is to go to pleasehackme.com. That is, if you have 4.3 U, E, J, or K, and enter your MAC address. It'll uh, I'll show a picture right here. Um, you put up your put your MAC address in. That's in your Wii options, and then it's Wii settings, internet, console, and information. You select there, and then uh, you type in your MAC address, and then you select the bundle you want, which is the Hack Me installer. You want to click on that. Enter the capture quick, and then cut the red wire, cut the blue wire. It doesn't matter. Just cut one of them, and you'll download and extract the letter bomb. That is the initial files that you need that's in a zip folder. This will help you install the homebrew channel. Now, we want to extract that letter bomb file that we downloaded, and we only want to copy the boot.elf file and the private folder to the SD card. We want to insert the SD card then into the Wii after we have it on the root of the SD card. That's really important. Your SD card, um, some people say it needs two gigabytes or less. Some say it needs two gigabytes or more. Mine, I started with a 512 MB memory card or SD card and it worked just fine. Uh, go to the Wii message board after you have that. Make sure when, also make sure when you copied the SD card files that or to the files to the SD card that the switch was on so you could actually write to it. Uh, then once you have it inserted, go to your Wii message board, go to yesterday, and select letter bomb. Which, you know, you go back a day and it'll be there, it'll be a little bomb. Click on bomb, pack me starts installing. And that is where we will take our first pause and we go to the second part which is installing the home brew channel and boot me. And then you can go on to do whatever the hell you want with it. Alright guys, for the next part of this, we want to install the homebrew channel and boot me. And for the, well obviously we, after just previously, we want to press 1, that'll be the first step. And it will ask to, inside boot me, it'll ask you to install homebrew channel. We let that go through, let that install, and it all, um, all the files that it needs will install automatically. And then you install boot me after that, and then here's where you can stray from the path a little bit. I just left it at that, but um, you can format your SD card and then you can get a uh, WAD manager or WAD manager and you can get a bunch of other uh, stuff to start out with now so you don't have to you know do it later. Um, main thing I did was just get the homebrew channel and then get a couple of basic ones like homebrew browser and a few other you know little programs and then after you get homebrew browser you can get um you can get the you get it'll let you download off of the actual Wii itself so you don't have to unpull your SD card out every time. And one of the main ones you want to get all, but you can't get on homebrew browser is uh USB loader GX. It's a great program. You once you get it installed and everything, um you can form well you have to do it on this PC though first. You have to format your USB drives to WBFS format then after you get your drives uh, set up in the WBFS format then you can um, then you can hook it up to the Wii use the USB loader and uh, put in your actual Wii games you have don't pirate I'm not telling you to go pirate but um, you can load up your actual Wii games and install them directly right off of the disk and then you never have to put the disk in again and that's pretty much it you can always add emulators or we MC, which is the media center, and it plays DVDs. You can use it to play DVDs. I don't really. I I use using it. It's cool and everything, but it doesn't work perfectly. Like it would freeze up if I tried to fast forward or anything. I don't know. I could not have the right version flashed, but 
oh well, it's still pretty cool. So, don't forget to rate and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Peace out, guys.